Hey, what's up you guys we're back in with the trailblazer and for this video we're going to be redoing the headliner we're going to be painting these to match the rest of the interior and while we're at it we're just going to tear everything out let's get to removing these seats real quick and they're held in by so all it takes is an 18 millimeter to get these nuts out there's four of them there's one right there one right here and two of them right there so this part comes off separately from this part and then same over there. That part comes off and then that one comes off. So I'm gonna get to removing all this and I'll put you guys All right, so I finished removing all these bolts. I thought it was just gonna be four, but there's also some in the back. So I'm gonna wait for someone to come help me to pull these seats out because they're pretty heavy. And then you also have to remove, to remove this front piece, you have to remove these covers. So that one goes on that side and then this bigger one goes on this side. And uh, once these covers are removed, then you're able to basically take out these front uh, pieces, well, these lower pieces. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove this with, I think these are like 10 millimeters. So I remove this out the way. So I'm gonna move this out the way. And then uh, I'm gonna see if I could kind of move this to the side a little bit. And I'm gonna start uh, also pulling these plastics off. They're, they're just held in by some clips. Right, so I was able to just kind of like lift it and lay it down as it is right now and now I really don't want to move it anymore because I don't want to damage these seats they're in pretty good condition so and also remove this uh piece right here 10 millimeter bolts I popped this plastic off just to see what was underneath just two clips this one and this one so now I'm gonna start working on the seat belt to remove this uh, rear lower plastic okay so I was kind of wrong first I have to remove this upper piece and I'm gonna do that by removing this plastic and that screw over there. My bad if you guys can't really hear me, it's just that I have the trailblazer on so it could charge the battery before I disconnect it for a cool minute. So let me get to this real quick and I'll put you guys back on. Okay, so I got this top piece out, it's just a bunch of clips. And once this piece is out and you got this and that screw right there, you can pop this out, but you have to first remove the seat belt just to get the plastic off. So I put everything back like always, so we won't lose anything. And then uh, I'm gonna get back to this side, moving this, that screw and the uh, seat belt bolts. And then I'll pop this off and then pop this lower plastic off. All right, so this is all I got done for today. The seat is unbolted and I just laid it right there. I uh, just made sure that there's no nothing sharp be behind it. And then the center console came off. Uh, this is no six, so it has some, some uh, screws here holding the little tray in. And then it has two holding the tray to this plastic thing. But I think some of these weren't put back in. They're actually broken. Yeah, I think these tabs are broken off the actual center console so it doesn't even hold it from the back. I have to figure something out or get a new center console. And then for the front, it has two screws holding the, uh, holding the front of the center console to this. And then the shift knob has a 15, a Torx 15 holding the knob in place. So you just undo the, fifth, the Torx 15 and then you pull it up. It has the traction control uh, harness right here. You can plug that, it has this plug for the AC controllers for the back. You pull this up, you put this in uh, neutral and then the whole center console comes off. And then I pull this trim piece off. I pull this one off, it has a bunch of clips. And then for this uh, kick panel right here, it has a little plastic. You can't really see it, but so I can pull it off. Well, it has a plastic right here. You can just unclip it. So all that is left to do is remove this uh, passenger seat. Once the passenger seat is removed, this uh, all those trim pieces on that side are gonna come off. Uh, so I think this one just pulls off. Yep. As uh, I believe this is for like the OnStar. So this comes off. And then, so I'm gonna remove all this from the vehicle once I'm pretty much done with that side. So I can start pulling the carpet off. And I'm also gonna have to remove this whole bracket for the carpet to actually come off. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this right now as well. And then keep pulling more stuff out. And uh, I think once those pillars come off, uh, the headliner should drop 
I'll have to remove the sun visors as well. So let me get to the rest of this and then I'll put you guys back on. All right, so now everything is out. I got the pillars. I don't think you guys can see it, but it's kind of dark already. Well, it's actually dark already. So now the next thing will be to remove the sun visors. And also there's some clips back there and some hooks for like the hangers and stuff. I'm going to remove those and pull the he headliner. Oh, and I'm also going to remove this uh, center console piece right here. So just trying to like you know, keep the wires to one side. Put some mess in here. And uh, so this carpet, I guess it's in two pieces. The back side and then the front side and uh, it's actually not too dirty but not too clean so once I pull it I'm gonna wipe everything down because there's a lot of dust in here and to remove this there's a couple of uh, 13 I think they're like 13 millimeter nuts and you're able to pull this um, metal part out Okay, so I just got done removing the whole carpet from front to back. It's a two-piece carpet, so the back side goes on first. Well, the front side goes on first, and then the back side overlaps it. And you do have to remove that whole piece for the center console. Uh, you have to remove this from that panel uh, piece over there. And then that slides up. And then it has two nuts, two bolts, a couple of more nuts back here. And then you could just remove the whole thing. The handbrake could stay in place. I'm not gonna mess with that. And uh, yeah, so you just kind of have to like, uh, it's kind of complicated because it slides all the way up there. But these go here. Then it has this one that goes there. Then it has one back here. And the carpet's kind of in a weird position back here, up here. But we were able to get it out. Also that you don't have to disconnect it you just have to unbolt it and then it'll slide through the carpet on that side you do have to disconnect it and then um, uh, remove the whole thing with the bracket what else and that's pretty much it all right so we got the headliner off and we're having a problem with this glue and uh that basically holds this harness onto the headliner so what I'm doing is I'm using the heat gun to try to heat up the glue a little bit and then uh, remove the harness from the headliner. So these clips come off. Just plugs right here. Come off with the come off of the clip. So I'm gonna start removing those and get this whole harness out. Here are the sun visors. I'm gonna start working on. I started removing this. I just wanted to see what it was, what was involved in removing the cloth from that. And this piece has two torque uh, screws right there. And then for the front, it has these type of clips. So that one didn't come off. It's still on here. I'll remove it later on. But basically, that holds the front in place. So you just pry that off after you remove those two. Uh, those two screws it has some plastic covers for the LED bulbs and then uh, so this is kind of hard to get to remove when it's on here you kind of have to let the this corner uh, hang a little bit and get your hand in here because it's pretty stupid but this was glued onto the headliner so it's like really tight on here there's a uh, piece so what I did is I just removed this, this rubber, and then I was able to get my hand in here and kind of like release this clip from here. That's how I was able to remove the, the sun visor from both sides. And then um, all these you can remove after once the headliner is kind of drooping. So that's the plan right now, to remove this, pull the headliner out. Okay, so I got all these parts off of the headliner. This is the one all the way to the back. So this one is in the cargo area and the trunk or cargo area, whatever you call it. And this one is not going to get painted because you can't really see much. This one is the one in the middle. So these lenses come off. Just pop the little clips of these lenses from the front. 
they go right there and right here in the front so these are the little clips there's two on each side and then this is the part that pushes the the on and off of the lights so these are gonna come off show you right now real quick so just using one of these little screwdrivers in here and then pop it off So this is gonna get taped up, just the inside. Then it's gonna get painted black. I picked up the paint today, I'll show you guys later on. And then uh, for these, they're also, these are like the hooks that go on the back. There's one on each side. And then these are the ones that hold the sun visors on, well in place. These are also gonna get painted. Then there's three handles. Uh, rear passenger, rear driver, and the passenger side. It doesn't matter where they go, they're all the same. But there's three of those. And then there's this. There's and then there's this one. This is the front over the head console. So same thing with this. You just uh pry these lenses off. And you take them out completely. Pop up both sides. These come off. And then uh, I'm going to remove the sunroof switch. And I'm, I'm going to remove this garage door button thing. And also this, this piece comes off. So it's all going to get disassembled. This is going to come off as well. I'm going to try to take as much as I can off of it. So I could paint the whole thing. And um, this is gonna have to stay, I know that for sure. So I'm just gonna tape this up, this whole section here. This one's also gonna come off. And I already took it off. Cause uh, I removed the LEDs. And then I decided to record this part. So what I'm gonna do once I'm done with all this, I'm gonna wash everything with the uh, Dawn dish soap. Cause I know that's good to like remove grease and stuff. And then I'm gonna wipe it down with some alcohol. Then I'm gonna start spraying them. And then this is for the sun visors. This is the part that opens up and then the light bulb goes here. So this is what comes off. This you could just pry it. Oh well. This fits on here like this. And then there's one side that you could just pull off, which is this side. You can see the little section right there so this comes off and then you could just wiggle the other side off and then this also comes off has like these little grooves right here where you could just stick the, the screwdriver and just pry it off softly it'll just come off it also has those little cutouts for like these little nipple things right there where it holds on so that's gonna come off and then this is gonna get painted i'm gonna take this off like this little piece right here the connections and stuff and then I'm gonna spray the whole thing this is also gonna get sprayed inside and out and then the glass the glass is really simple so this glass sits in here like this so all you have to do is just all you have to do is just press on this with the with the flat head screwdriver on these little parts right here on these two parts right here and then the glass just comes off you want basically hook it from this side finally got done removing the headliner material and it was really complicated uh, I was trying to pull it off like this but then uh, this was too difficult to remove from this piece right here so what I ended up doing, this is like another layer of material, but there's no sponge between this and the headliner. So I just pulled this all off and it was really difficult. So what I ended up doing, I cut a line right here in the middle and then I did this side and then I worked on the other side and then I just pulled it all together towards the back. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just hit it with the wire brush real quick. Just try to get a lot of these hairs off, the loose hairs. 
and then like this extra piece right here I'm just gonna cut them off and uh, make sure that everything is nice and clean and then we're gonna lay down our uh, our suede all right so this is the headliner now we fucked it up first off we fucked up the, the sunroof section and then back there we got a lot of wrinkles and it's really hard to like pull it back off and pull the wrinkles this is the glue that we were using this shit really works so now we're gonna have to pick up another headliner and get it done we we're really trying to do it for you guys to show you uh, how to do the suede but it didn't work out for us so now what we're working on doing is uh putting the carpet back in to originally vacuum everything and just start laying the carpet back in for now and uh, we're gonna spray some of the other parts I'll show you guys in a bit this is everything i have painted so far this is the sun visor thing and then these are like the finger stuff for the back these clips go on the headliner this is for the sun visor where it holds on and everything got about three or four coats of paint so these handles i did them on one side first no. then I, you know i'm gonna clean this side and i'm gonna spray this side and i was using the styrofoam just to hold the parts in place like these clips and stuff i would just put it in here and spray them also get the passenger side cover and then i have these two this one and this one which didn't come out so good. I was kind of like trying to scratch it off and it actually did come off pretty easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it down again and clean it up real good and then spray it again. So I didn't record, you know, spraying all this mainly because I was holding it with one hand and then spraying it with the other. So I didn't set up my tripod and stuff and I was kind of anxious to like get these done to see what they would look like. This is all sprayed down. Uh, I reassembled it. So everything is on there and I think it looks pretty good actually so these are the gate buttons sort of buttons and then the little covers for the plastic and also this is the spray paint that we've been using the color coat from Sam this is the black it looks pretty original there's a gloss black and then there's this black and then there's also a trim black for like the trim pieces this is the one that everyone uses for the interior all right so this is what i've done so far I just uh put some plastic bags up so i won't get overspray on the seats and everything else that's in here and i'm gonna start spraying these pieces i got the alcohol so i'm gonna wipe them down and then once i wipe them down i'm just gonna give it a couple of coats of paint and then uh we should be ready to spray the bigger pieces So we're finally done spraying everything. This is how they came out. This piece goes on that side. That one goes on this side. That's the part for the hatch. It looks pretty good. I like this paint because it doesn't look super glossy. Try to get as much as I could covered without uh I mean, even if you like do a pretty thick layer, it levels out by itself. I don't know if it makes sense. Like, you don't see a big spot or tiger stripes, even if you, you know, mess up a little bit. So it evens out pretty good. I'm gonna show you the other parts over there. These are the handles that go up, up here. And then uh, the pieces that go on the sides, A pillars, B pillars and stuff. So what we're gonna end up doing is just getting another headliner at the junkyard. And then having someone uh, lay the suede material on it and then just put it back up on, onto the trailblazer. We did mess up, but at least we tried. So that's gonna be later on in another video. 
So next for us will be detailing the interior and start installing the sound system. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at yonke underscore OXC films. And we'll catch you in the next one.